Okay, let's use the uh, these equations to compute the stationary probability distribution for a Markov chain. I'm going to use the one uh, that's in your course notes, uh, also the book, and uh, instead of redrawing it, uh, in my this is probably easier to just read uh, as shown over here. And what we see right away just from ED, uh, observing it is that the transition probability matrix is going like this. So P11 is 0 0.2, probability, uh, then P12, probably, probably to going from state 1 to state 2, 0 0.4, and P13 is 0 0.4, P21 is 1.0, so these are zeros, and then P. Uh, uh, 3, 1 is 0 0.5, 3, 3, 3, 2 0 0.25, and those going to be 0 0.25. So to solve this uh, the system, now what we need to do is to simply say that uh, pi uh, j star is going to be given by uh, pi, uh, pi 1 star, pi 2 star, pi 3 star, over here, and so the system of equations just becomes like this. Uh, this is a vector, of course. So we're saying uh, pi one is equal to uh, pi one zero point two pi one plus uh, one point zero oh pi two plus zero point five pi three, then pi two equals uh, 0 0.4 by 1 plus 0 by 2 plus 0 0.25 by 3 uh, and then finally pi 3 equals 0 0.4 uh, by 1 plus 0 by 2 plus 0 0.25 by 3. So uh, this is clearly a system of uh, three equations in three unknowns, which are pi 1, pi 2, and pi 3. And if you solve for these three unknowns, you will in fact get the value of pi, pi star, which is going to be uh, given by the solution. And that happens to be, uh, I happen to have the solution in my pocket, which I'll tell you, which is uh, 15 by 31. 8 by 31 and uh, 8 by 31. And so this is in fact the stationary probability distribution of the uh, Markov chain. And what that means in practically speaking is that uh, if we go back to the uh, Markov chain over here, which is go, if I'll put it back over here, um, then we are but roughly speaking twice as likely to be in state one than, than in state two or state three. And of course, it's not immediately obvious we're looking at the transition probabilities, but once we solve this, we, this answer pops right out. And that's the beauty of uh, using an ergodic Markov chain because now we can compute the stationary probabilities in a very easy way.